Hi guys, welcome to another interesting episode of 100% Joy Seeds. Today I'm going to share two stories with you. These stories don't make me happy. I might not have all the details of the story, but yeah, I'm just going to share what I know. And then we're going to talk about something really important to me. Uh, and mind you, I'm coming from a place of love. Um, a few months ago, some woman who is an amazing worship leader, um, but had been in a marriage and the marriage was abusive and her husband you know used to obviously beat her up and all that and she stayed in that marriage for years but eventually she met a tragic end after one of her episodes with him and she died it was it was a big deal on social media and everywhere at that point in time it was a sad thing to happen and not too long ago for some reason i started you know seeing another um, another story like that on social media where another woman who had been in marriage since she was a teenager well a turbulent marriage because they've had a lot of back and forth and at some point she also met her tragic and not too long ago and um, yeah she's gone left five children behind so did the first one and both of them didn't, they didn't end well you know and it set me thinking um now there are millions or hundreds of thousands of women these stories are happening every day and not just women even men these stories are happening every day where people stay in abusive situations until it either claims their lives maims them or you know creates a permanent damage and nobody can come back from and i decided to do this episode to you know let's have a conversation about the fact that being in an abusive relationship is not something anybody should be you know anybody should see as a, a project to stay with you know i believe that um, if we take care of some of the issues underlying issues that would make somebody stay with an abuser or make somebody an abuser um society will begin to heal from this monstrous demon that is beginning to eat up the family and eat up relationships and eat up people when we come back let's look at why people stay in abusive relationships. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. Now, before we continue, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, now hit the subscribe button and click on the notification so that you know whenever I there's a new episode. And I'd love to hear from you, your comments, what you think, what you want to hear about. And I, I'm, I'm you know, more than willing to share my opinion with you at any point in time. So now, that done, why do people stay in abusive relationships? Because we always see the red flags, but we stay there. Now, I have been in an abusive relationship. Well, it wasn't physical, but it was mental, it was emotional, it was psychological. And when I share that experience with other people that I want to help through their experiences, I always say, I knew what the problem was, so I will narrate the problem to you I will even tell you the solution to my problem, then I go back to my problem. Now, there was something wrong while I was doing that back and forth, why I knew there was a problem and I kept going back to it. It made me know that every abuser knows that there's a problem, but they keep going back to it. And honestly, the relationship between an abuser and abused is, is a match made in hell because there's something, there's a there's um, an agreement. It's not physical. They don't sign papers, but it's an agreement. And that is why that abuse goes on. Because if, I, if you don't allow it, if the abuse does not allow it, the abuser cannot abuse. Abused. Sorry, I'm using that word a lot. But because the abuser, the abused is, has settled into the abuse and feels that there's no other way out or you know, feels that this is where he or she is meant to be, the abuser feels that like he has the power to keep doing this. And it happens because the abuser gives away, the abuse gives power away to the abuser. Now, what, what are the reasons why we stay in this relationship? One of them is the fact that we have lost our sense of identity, the sense of who we are. When you don't know who you are anymore and you attach who you are to your partner, whether it's a female or a male, you keep the thought of leaving. You feel like you'll be nobody when you leave them or life will mean nothing when you leave them. So you would rather stay because being with them is what gives you some sense of identity. For instance, some people feel that staying married 
gives you some societal status regardless of whether you're being pounded in the you know in the bedroom or you know in, the, in private whether you're being beaten up you're being disrespected as long as on the outside people can see that you're married then it's cool now that's not nice that's not the way to treat yourself so your sense of identity comes from being married or being in a relationship or being with a certain person or being with someone that is wealthy or someone that has power or someone that you know whatever it is your you feel gives you some form of identity so it makes you stay there because this is what makes you feel like you're somebody and this happens because you don't know who you are because if you know who you are you know that you don't need another human being to validate who you are you only need another human being to compliment who you are and if that human being is not complimenting who you are you don't have any business being there yes i said it you don't have any business being there the second reason why people stay in abusive relationships because they look at what people think so you're thinking oh if i leave this marriage people are going to say i failed people are going to say i did not stay people will laugh at me people will, will, will talk about me and um, somebody else will take the man you know some very oh the woman you know people look for reasons like that it doesn't matter nobody you know the funniest thing nobody is thinking about you people have their own problems they're dealing with their own issues you're the least of their problems you know, most times we wake up every morning and think everybody wakes up and everybody's thinking about us people are not thinking about you they're thinking about their own problems and really if you decide to make a decision that serves you it's not your business what anybody thinks what is important is how does that decision grow you how does that decision improve you because walking away from a toxic or a, a, a relationship from an abuser doesn't only serve you it serves the abuser because you're going to help that person become better you're going to help yourself become better and of course if you have children in that relationship you're also doing something amazing for your children now another reason why people stay in abusive relationships is because of the fear of the unknown if i leave her if i leave him will i meet somebody else what will happen will i die a lonely person will my life be over how will i be able to feed my children how will i be able to pay the rent how will i be able to go on from now will i be able to stay in my bed alone will i you know some the fear of the unknown just not knowing what next so you rather stay in the familiar that is not working you rather stay in this comfort zone that nothing is growing because you're afraid of what will happen so you get to a point where because you want to make this twisted situation you want to normalize it you start making excuses for why she or he hits you why he she or she insults you why he, he or she does not you know um act right in the relationship or in the marriage why because you're trying to normalize some twisted relationship or twisted existence now that's so wrong and honestly it doesn't only hurt you it doesn't only hurt the man it also hurts every other person that is in a relationship especially the children because when i was thinking about this lady who passed or these ladies who passed all i could think of was everybody's talking about them talking about the men talking about the women nobody's talking about the trauma that the children have had to live through and how they're going to come back from it when we come back let's talk about why you shouldn't stay in an abusive relationship and what you need to do when you find out that you're in one don't go away i'll be right back welcome back so why do you need to walk out of an abusive relationship first it's for you the truth is there's nothing good nothing good grows in a place where there's so much negativity you can't function you can't think you can't create you can't be productive because at every point in time your emotions are always sabotaged you're happy you're sad you're afraid you're scared you're certain nothing good comes out of it it means that it sabotages your own life being in an abusive relationship sabotages your own life there's no growth there's no productivity there's nothing nothing good happens around you and if it sabotages your life it means that at some point it will sabotage your health it will sabotage your happiness so it's one reason why you should work out of uh, an abusive relationship when i was in one i was never happy and it was the most unproductive time in my life because I couldn't even think straight. So if you can't think straight, how can you even produce anything, you know? And then I used to cry a lot. I'm sure I cried then that I cried as a baby. My mom hears this now, she'll be so sad. Anyway, another reason why you should leave an abusive relationship is for the sake of your partner or the abuser. Because really, your abuser is not a bad person. It's just going through a chaotic time in his or her life. It doesn't make them bad people. 
they just don't know how to make better choices or better decisions they're going through their own journey dealing with their own chaos and honestly when people inflict pain or hurt you they are only inflicting what they feel on the inside on you so whatever you're suffering is like 10 percent of what they are suffering on the inside so what you should be feeling for them is empathy and compassion not hate or bitterness or resentment so you walking away you're helping your abuser because you're giving him time that's if he doesn't jump or he she doesn't jump on another victim you're giving he or she time to fix himself or herself because sometimes breaking out of that circle sometimes bring some form of realization even if it's for 24 or 48 hours to each person in relation to you to actually reflect consciously or unconsciously oh what happened here oh this person was able to give me that shock makes you begin to realize the few things so working away you're also helping your abuser to grow out of being an abuser but as long as he's enabled or she is enabled it's not going to end it's just going to be a circle that's going to continue and trust me, like I said, if you have children in the mix, you're going to pass on this character or behavioral pattern to them. Because you're going to find that either the girls or the boys become abusers and one of them becomes, either one becomes the abused. You know, taking the abuse, go, oh, my dad or my mom was taking it, so maybe it's okay, it's cool to take it. Or my mom I, or my dad was, you know, beating the other, so maybe it's okay to do that. Because children look up, up to us for, you know, um, guidance now the third reason you should leave is if you have children in that relationship that's the reason you should leave because you're not helping the kids i know that we stay we're in a society where it's believed that oh because of the children no oh, stay together and and all that but you're destroying these children psychologically emotionally and mentally most of the abusers we have now came out of abusive families that stayed together because that's what society expected and this is the result of the trauma that they had gone through as children if you look at it Check the history of most abusers were also either victims of abuse or stayed in a family where abuse went on and that is how they became who they they are so they are a product of you know the environment that they grew up in so it's important that you break that circle by removing your children from that situation now that's love trust me love is not staying love is doing the right thing for everyone in, involved in it every every party involved in that relationship that's not working so for the sake of their own future so they don't have to live through what you have lived through or what either of of of, of you have lived through then you're going to have to remove them from that situation and take them through proper guidance and counseling to get them through whatever trauma they have been through for them to be able to find themselves like i said when i told those two stories in the beginning the only thing that kept ringing in my head each time i heard any of those stories is Nobody is talking about the children. Everybody is talking about the victim or the, the partner. But nobody is talking about how are the children going to come back from this? Who is going to help them through their trauma? How are they going to be rehabilitated? Because they've gone through a lot and they're not talking. And you know, the funniest thing is that mental or emotional or psychological trauma or damage is the worst kind because you can't see it. I mean, somebody is beating, you can see the scars, but you can't see it. And sometimes these kids don't talk about it. So you don't even know that they're dealing with it until they grow up and become somebody else looking at how working out of relationship helps you helps your partner helps your children if you have children in the mix helps your health helps your future i believe that if you really love your partner your children you're really concerned about your future their future you're concerned about your life your health their health you'll do the right thing and work out of a relationship that's abusive because in the end there's no shame in starting all over. Trust me, in the end, you will thank yourself for it. Now, if you're watching this right now and you're going through any form of abuse and this resonates with you, I'm sending you a hug and I'm sending you love. Um, you're not alone and it's not easy. I have been through it. I know how tough it is. It's not just easy to get up and go. But honestly, if you are in this situation, find some help. Find somebody to hold your hand through this. In the end, you're going to look back and be glad you made the right decision. So that's all for me today. Choose you. Choose life. Bye-bye.